Julie. So today we are going to try and record a little Elder Scrolls Online. Um, I've been playing this game with Keith. Uh, I even got a new mouse because the old mouse I had, well, it came with my Mac computer and it just didn't work. Because when you play like an MMO, you have you need to have a uh, mouse that has like a left and right mouse button where this one, the one I had before, did not. So anyway, we're going to give this a shot and see if this works. I've never tried recording while playing this, so we'll just have to give it a shot and see how it works. Um... So, yep, this is made by Bess... Bess I never know how to say it, but it's Beseda, Besada, whatever. Anyway, it's a pretty fun game. I really like it. Um, I've really enjoyed playing with Keith because it gives me a chance to do some stuff that I've never done before. Just gotta log in. And one of the things I love about this is the graphics are just absolutely beautiful. And the world is just so big and huge and immersive and everything. It's a lot of fun. Um, there are a few parts, a few enemies that make me go, Arr. but they tend to, the ones that bug me tend to run, well, funny that I say bug, because the ones that really, that I don't really like, tend to run along with of giant bugs, or giant spiders, or stuff like that. But, I tell you, one thing that's really fun is, um, my character, I've only made one character so far, I need to make more, um, Keith's got four so far, and I'm very proud of him because all four, well, each of his four characters represents one of the houses of Hogwarts. Because you can make, like, your own armor and stuff like that. And he's got one that dresses in red and gold. One that dresses in, um, Hufflepuff colors, which is gold and black, I want to say. Or yellow and black. Uh, one that's Ravenclaw, bronze and blue. And Slytherin, which is silver and green. And, uh... So, it's, it's a lot of fun. And then he made me... He made my character. Oh, yes. This is Leanna. She is a wood elf. She's level 25 Templar. And, as you can probably tell, uh, I just turned her into a vampire. When one of Keith's other characters turn her into a vampire... So, yeah, it's kind of fun. You can do that. You can also have your characters turn into a werewolf. Which is what Keith's character, Nathaniel, who roams around with, with uh, my girl. Uh, so, yeah, we have a werewolf and a vampire roaming around. And we are currently in Malibu Tour, which is, um, Wood Elf that Leanna is. And, uh, which I think is kind of fun, because she's a little shorty, like me. She's kind of short. But, um, yeah, it's a, it's a lot of fun. It's a good game. Oh, and here we go. Oh, and this 
Um, I was trying to do a quest, and it ended up being, like, way difficult. So, we are at the Drabble Way Shrine. We got a couple of quests we've got to do. So, I am going to. Oh, and first off. Uh, mail. One thing necklace, one thing ring. Increase fire resistance. So, what you do is, Keith will send me stuff, or he'll have, like, his other characters get stuff. And then he'll be like... Okay, so... When... You know, you guys got a chance to read that, but... These are Glyphs of Flame Resist, because one of the main weaknesses of a vampire is, of course, fire! So, what we want to do is we want to go to our ring, and we want to enchant. So, we just click on it, hit E for enchant, and then we mouse over it. And it adds 822 flame resistance. So we want to do the same thing for our necklace. So we do R for enchant. We mouse over the enchantment. Hit enchant. And then we're good. Oh, and this over here is our inventory. So we've got all kinds of stuff. Be sorts by all sorts by your weapons, your apparel, which basically is stuff you pick up. A lot of the stuff you'll pick up through the game, like when you complete quests, like they'll give you some gold and then they'll give you some other stuff. This is all your food. Food and potions, that kind of stuff. Materials. My girl is... My girl is a woodworker. So she is very good at making the staffs and stuff. And she also does provisioning. Which means that she cooks food. Oh, and we also get treasure maps occasionally. I'm very excited because I got this one. And it shows a map of where the treasure is. Anyway, so what we need to do... Oh, and if you hit J, that brings up your quest that you got going. So Ordon is where I started out. We're done. I have one quest left to do, and that one is fairly... I'm not the part where I'm stuck. Grotwood is the where we were. That is like one of the capitals of the Wood Elves. So we need to go back to there at some point. Uh, Knarth is Roost. That is one of the areas. Oh, this is where we meet a good, somebody who becomes a good friend of ours, a man named, a Khajiit named Razumdar. A Khajiit is somebody who is a cat person. So they have the, they have the, um, what you would call them. Uh-oh. My mouse just died. That's not good. Um, well, shoot. Okay, so we've got that. Then we got Malibu Tour, which is where we are now. We've got several quests here. We've got Nature's Best Friend, which it's kind of cute. 
there's certain quests that we have that are like, excuse me, that are like, um, there's certain quests that we have that are like, oh, well, you know, that are, you know, very serious, very important to the main story and all that. And then there's quests like this one where it's like I was going along and I found this gal who is screaming and yelling for somebody and we talked to her and it turns out that her husband, who's a Khajiit, ran off and ate moon sugar, which to them, to the Khajiit, is like ingesting alcohol or whatever. And so, he was all excited, and he ran off into the forest. Well, he lost a bag containing stuff for him and his wife to sell. And so, I've got to go off on this quest and find where in there. So, if you go to your... Go to the journal, and then it'll tell you what you got going. Rothgar, which you can get to from leaving Oridon, that's another quest we've got to do. And then, of course, we've got our guild quest and our main story. So. I'll do my best to kind of show you guys what happened. It's a little bit difficult to do without the mouse. I don't know why my batteries died. But we'll, we'll see what we can do. So, anyway, walk, and if you look up ahead, if you look up over here, you've got a compass, and it tells you, like, what direction you're facing, and what's there, like, if you have, and here's the map, so here's where we're at right here and then you've got all kinds of like little little um things you've got two of the apostates these are going to be like your dungeons your quest markers your stuff like that these are way shrines you can travel in between them and if you see like a little quest marker that tells you something you have to do. And I feel what the eye is. Sometimes it can be like a temple. Sometimes it can be like a... Whatever, you know. And then, if you go down here and you expand out, this is the whole area where we're at. And you'll eventually get to the point. This is where Keith and I have been recently. It's Velen Harbor. Um, we had a quest there. We had to save the town folk from, um, from evildoers and stuff like that. And so, yeah. So a lot of our stuff is going to be going to be pretty interesting. So, anyway, but yeah, so, walk, you walk, it's just spin around, what is that, oh, that's a tiger, oh, and that's another thing, if you're going along and you see something that's glowing red, that usually means it's an enemy. And you can attack it. Um, I'm trying to think. What else I could show? I'm sorry, my mouse. I may reboot this and start over again.
but yeah, I wanted to just kind of show you guys a little bit of it. Um, I wanted to do some gameplay, but I am gonna have to. Oh, that was a horse. I was like, oh, sure, what was that? Oh yeah, and every once in a while you'll come across other players, like that guy, he's roaming around. He's ex he's exploring or questing or whatever. But yeah, if you look up ahead, you get like your little monikers. Like we're facing north, if we went to run off this way, we'd be going north. And then which one to do is, because if you scan scroll until like your quest marker is right in the middle, then it tells you what you have to do and it gives you the general direction that you want to go. And then... Uh... Oh, and here's the other thing. If you look in the corner of the screen where it says Castle the Worm, go to the Harborage, what you want to do? You want to go to your quest. And I want to go to Model Ball Tour and just kind of pick one. And then that'll be that'll be your known your known quest. And see then it says that's what you're supposed to do. So, it's a lot of fun. Tell you what, guys. I will show you. So, you use a way of trying. You hit E. And then you go... And now how close the way shrine is to where you want to go. So, we'll go here. You left-click. And ask. And then you hit E again. And... And then usually you'll go to a a loading screen that'll say, you know. What I like about the loading screens is it gives you kind of tips and hints. Oh, and here we are. We are at Felon Harbor. So what you want to do... Is you wanna? Isn't that just beautiful, guys? That is. I love the graphics in this game. It is so pretty. Anyway, but if you run up here, da, 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 da. it's a little harder to do while the mouse. But so that's called. Well, and if you look, we have two moons. And this town is kind of interesting, but the wood elves tend to live where there are just giant trees and lots of giant mushrooms and stuff like that. And you can go Greetings. around. Hello! And every once in a while there are people you can talk to. And what I like about it being nighttime is the fact that there are. Well, I like that there are lights of scattered NPCs around. Hello there. Well, hello. Mm -hmm. Lots of scattered NPCs, and you can just kind of walk around and talk to people. Oh. Yep, so you can talk to this person. Velen Harbor's been exciting lately. I could do with a little less excitement. And one of the things, when you become a vampire, of course, one of your one of the important things you gotta do is feed. <laughs> so one of the things you gotta know. Apparently, and I've never tried this, 
I just became a vampire just a little bit ago, so I'm not really sure how this is going to work. But apparently, apparently, I swear, I'm taking you to the granary, not the slaughterhouse. Apparently, no, don't go there, not into the river. Are you okay, hon? Do you, do you need some help? Hey, hey, you need some help? Please. My oxen got loose when the droblog attacked. I'm lucky they didn't end up roasted or slaughtered, I guess. Well, and there's like NPCs, and you know, you can only listen to them talk, and then there's NPCs that. If, like, if this gentleman had, like, a little marker above his head, I could go up to him and talk to him. And he would give, you know, he would, like, have a quest. He would, well, and the fun thing is it's not really, oh, I have a quest for you. It's more of a, oh, you know, I have, you know, I have this problem that needs to be solved. And... Can you help me? Kind of thing. Oh, and this is really cool. If you guys can right in here. Come on, right in here. So, this is the main area where all the crafting stations are. So, like, if you come up to here. This is the blacksmithing station. I can show you guys the station that I use a lot. I think it's right over here. Yep, woodworking. So, what you want to do? You go on here. You have the options of, like, along the way you'll find wood, you know, and you can chop wood in the forest. So, what you want to do is you add... And you hit refine, and it'll change your rough beach to your sanded beach. And sometimes you'll find other items too. But you have the option of creating. And what's really cool is you, if you find like rare metals and stuff, you'll have the option of making weapons in the styles of. The races. So, like Nord, Argonian, Ulmer, Bosmer, which is what we are, and Khajiit, which is the cat people. And if you look up here, it changes their thing. And also, let me see if I can go back and find one that has a. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back, find bow. And if you go do that, you can make a bow with the infused trait. And so those are more like your precious metals, stuff like that. This is the one I've been using a lot. And what Keith will do is he'll send me stuff in the mail. So what you do is you add... And you deconstruct. If you notice, my woodworking bar went up. So that means I gain more experience in the woodworking. And sometimes you'll see like materials pop up here, and that just means that you found something bad. Or, oh, and over here, like I have three items. They are already in the superior trait. There are two others. There's epic and legendary. And you need like certain ingredients to make them that way. And you can also put enchantments on them too. And so that's always pretty good. But yeah, so if you want to improve... 
you have to have something, and then there's research. What you do is, if you have a weapon that can be, that has like an ability to be research, you can click on it and it'll let you research that. It'll let you research that ability. So, and then of course it's got clothing. You can make clothes. Oh, and I'm gonna pan over this really quick because there are. You can be a thief, and you can steal stuff like this. Like if you're going along. And all of a sudden, you just like, you know, you're like, oh, that's cool. You know, you can steal that. Now, the problem with stealing it in the middle of town is that you have a much higher chance of being noticed by the girl. And that also is a problem for me because if I want to beat from somebody... I can't do it. Like, it wouldn't be a good idea for me to go into the middle there and grab somebody. Because I would be caught by the guard and I would be in trouble. So, what we want to do... Oh, and these are crafting reds. This gives you a quest, but it's like a little quest. And they have one for equipment and they have one for consumables. So what you do is you take a red... Like, I'll do one. And you examine the red. And then you pull it from the board. And so basically it says, started provision your red. And then if you go to your... Oh, and even tells you what you need to do. So, and it's under your crafting. So you just click on it. And it tells you what you need to make. So you need to make one garlic pumpkin seeds and one trickleberry tea. So, and then there's places all around Tamriel, depending on where you're at. And you go, and there's a, like a little place where you can put your, put your food, and it basically pays you money. Oh, and over here is a lot of the um, merchants. They'll sell you stuff, or, you know, you can buy stuff from them. Remarkably, we lost very little from the marketplace, but the residential district was nearly burned to the ground. So you've got your buy option. Can buy things. You can sell things, and then, like, let's say you sell something, and then you realize, oh, I need that, so you can buy it back from them. And then you also have to repair. So, like, if your stuff, like, if you look at it, it'll tell you what condition your stuff is in, and then if you want. They'll repair that for you. Now the other really cool thing is you also have the option like like sometimes you'll get the option to steal and then other times you'll just get the option like you'll be going through and you'll get to like loot barrels or whatever. Oh and this guy's cool. He sells back backpack upgrades. And so I just got one. So he basically gives you more baggage space. I'm going to go back over here because I haven't been back over here. Oh, see, that's the beach. Oh, and here's another thing. You see the torch bug? See, it's the lightning bug, but we call it torch bug. If you take, you get insect parts. Which you can use when you go fishing. 
because there's a lot of... Because if you go down here... There's places... There's places where you can fish. It's really pretty cool. Now what I'm doing is I'm looking to see if I can find anybody. Hmm. Oh, and this is the other thing. come across logs, you can cut them, and you get wood, which is very important if you've taken on the woodworking task. Now, if you guys notice, it's starting to be morning. Now, as far as I'm aware, I think I'm okay. I don't think I'm... I'll burn anything. But if you guys look over here in the left-hand corner, you've got your chat. So, like, people, you know, like, advertising for members of their guild. Or whatever. And then, of course, you've got your... I don't know if I can swim over there. I am not at all sure. But yeah, you can swim in this game. Oh, excuse me, my grabs. You can swim in this game, you can do all sorts of stuff. And you can gather things like there's plants, there's animals, you can kill for like food. Okay, I'm going to try something. Should be able... Oh, I'm detected. Okay. Oh, because he's right over there. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to try... Let's see. This is when you're in... Still. Because you have options to, like, um, what's the word? You have options, like, if you're a thief, I mm. sorry, I'm going to try. So I don't know if this Let's try. See, they should be in red. So you can like pickpocket.
If I need to hang on, so let's go to my skill. Oh, yeah, and this is the other thing go down the world, go to Vampire, and you've got your active abilities. So, what you do is you've got your your skills that you can do, your magic attacks and stuff like that. So you've got your drain essence. I wonder if that's what I need to do. There's supposed to be a way. So you don't know. Is there supposed to be a web? I don't know. Oh, wait. I forgot. I need to turn off. Hold on. I need to turn off. Okay, so apparently, let's see what that does. Oh no, did I lose her? Oh no, there she is. Okay. Yeah, let's fix this way. Oh, I am so confused. But yeah, 
So that's how that happens. Oh, and if you go to your character, you go down, and you're at stage two. Interesting. Yes, that's basically that. Now, what we want to do is we want to go back to settings. The game player. And on to prevent attacking in this sense. I wonder what that means being disreputable. Well, and the other really nice thing is that you can attack enemies. So, we want to try to avoid the killing of innocent people. At least as much as possible. So, but yeah, so that is this goes. Oh, and here's the other thing. You notice that I have a reputation. So, what we need to do... Oh, and we are in luck because we are right outside of where the Outlaws Refuge is, apparently. Yep. So that's like our bounty. So to get rid of that. We have to go into the Outlaws Refuge and get rid of our bounty. So, as soon as the... as soon as the screen loads... Oh, and we have the best person here. Alright, 
What do you want me to do? Can't remember what I even talk to. Somebody. Let's talk to this person. No haggling. Security isn't cheap. So you paid your bounty. Fail. And that means I can do. I can't wait to see what you have. I'm a tingle with anticipation. Uh okay. Ooh, yes. So we've got the bay. That's that guy. He clears your bounty. This is the fence, so he sells all of your stuff. Uh -huh. Is it pretty in here? This is so gorgeous. I'm gonna go talk to this person and we'll see what they're doing. Mm. See, this is what I if somebody has like a quest marker, you can talk to them. Are you here about the job? To forestall any confusion, yes, we split the proceeds equally. And no, I will not budge on that point. You mean you aren't here about the notice? Well, allow me to explain. I need a partner for a difficult job. It pays well, but it involves travel, and there is some danger. Does that sound like the sort of thing that might interest you? So, and then you can say, it sounds good, I'm in, or you can just do the box. And then she'll be there later on. Ooh, that's cute. Hey. Oh, this is a merchant. So I told him, I said, how come when the queen sends her armies into war, that's noble, but when I burn down the barracks with everyone inside, that's a crime. <laughs> I love these guys. And the other fun thing is that Nathaniel... My Nathaniel is, um, he's a thief, so he's well familiar with this. Oh, and every once in a while you'll come across little things that say, you know, little book, like books that are blue and glowing or war books. Then you'll come across other books that are glowing and they may just tell history or like this one says who is really in charge. I have discovered conclusive proof that a secret cabal of elite mages working in hidden catacombs beneath every major city in Tamarill invented this so-called plane meld as part of their devious plan. There's a Moloch ball, he's a myth. A clever fiction. These dark anchors are actually mind control devices constructed by the cabal in place throughout the world. Do not approach these devices under any circumstances or try to hallucinate. <laughs> so, a conspiracy theorist, in other words. But yeah, so you can, you can just kind of roam around. You can kind of look at different things. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. And you just roam around, you just look at different things, with all kinds of problem solver for hire. But yeah, I love looking at different things like, like that. Anyway, now that we are I think that's in here. Yeah. Okay, so what we want to do, now that we are, now that our name is cleared, we can go back. This way. At least I think we can.
Oh yeah, we can go down here. And then go back up. So, I think that's enough for now, guys. I'll upload this, and hopefully it will upload okay. And I'll keep playing, and we'll work it out. I have to probably replace the batteries of my mouse. I'm assuming that's the... Uh, oh, see, now it works again. That's really weird. Like, every once in a while, it'll, like, freeze or whatever. But, yeah. So, that's pretty much it. You go on quests. You know, what I like about the game is you can just be walking along or riding your horse along, and all of a sudden you'll see somebody with a quest marker, and you'll be like, Oh, this person, you know, and usually it's somebody who needs help, that kind of thing. So it usually just kind of depends. The other thing I love is the weather. Like, you'll be going along various places and all of a sudden it'll, like, start raining. Oh yeah, this is mud crab. You can have these as pets, or you can kill them. I have many fine goods. And this over here? is the main bridge out of town. Oh, and... That's my horse. So what you want to do... Is you just want to... Now you can either go straight... Or you can go to the left or the right. The other cool thing, see how the compass goes? So you can go south, north, oh, see the glowing wood? So what you want to do, you want to get off your horse, and run up the hill. Oh, and by the way, that's an ability. Oh, yeah, this is what it will be. That looks mean. <laughs> Nasty thing about stranglers. that they will oh, 
is that they'll just pull at you. There we go. Alright, so let's look at our map. Oh, if we keep going straight ahead. Now, these are cool. These are little houses that wood elves lived in, live in. They have uh, what's called a green pack, so they work, they live in harmony with nature. Oh, and here's the gal who we're talking to. Here we are. The very embodiment of the green lady can be seen in this ancient tree. Yes. Some say this is the grave of the first green lady, lost to time before the green pact. Others believe the tree is the first green lady herself. All agree this place is sacred and the blessed site of Ifri. Hard to say. While a green lady is terrifically hard to kill, she is mortal. A powerful blow from a daedra, perhaps. More likely she died of old age. Or perhaps her sylvanar was killed. Yes. So it was with Fenariel, who was Green Lady before this one. Once the Green Lady and Sylvanar are wed, their bond is inescapable. If one dies, the other must follow suit. The Falls, where the current Green Lady Gwaring risked her life to save a friend. I can reveal a bit of the story with a blessing Spinner Aldor taught me. It's a little dangerous with the werewolves and houndsmen about, but they're no match for you. Okay, so we're going to stop this here because I wanted it to get too long. But that's one of our quests, is this gal right here is teaching us a little bit about the history of the area. So, let's go. And so, hope you guys had a lot of fun. Like I said, I'll try to do some more role play gameplay as soon, and uh, yeah. So, have a great weekend, guys. And I will talk to you later.